Hi everyone, it's Alakai. Thanks for watching. We've got five boosters of the X-Men Dice Masters game. Super excited. Opening these things up. We've got five packs. Let's go. Let's take a Psylocke. Or Scarlet Witch. There we go. Scarlet Witch went a mo one to Maximoff. Three and a Bolt. So villain. When fielded, Scarlet Witch takes one damage to each opposing X-Men character for each other villain you have on the field. I've spoken about this guy a couple times. Cable, my first cable. Four and a bolt. Cable man of action. When cable is blocked, deal one damage to an opposing character. He's got a global. Pay bolt bolt. Deal one damage to target opposing character. That character must block if able. Wow, so takes one damage, then it's got a block. It's pretty good for removal. Not too bad. That's just the common version. Here's the pack number two. We have a common Red Hulk Thunderbolt Ross, six and a fist. Burst is if Red Hulk is damaged in the attack phase but not knocked out, spin him up one level to the end of the turn. So he's going to keep getting up and up and up. Stats, well, level one, six, five, level two, seven, seven, and level three, eight, eight. This guy's mass. Oh, this guy. Falcon Samuel Wilson, two and a fist, an Avenger. Well, he's got no abilities, does he? He's uh, just a low-cost creature. Uh, he's a fist creature. He's got zero. Let's see, zero fielding, one fielding, one fielding. Stats are two, two, three, three, and four, three, respectively. Let's try pack number three. Come on, rares. Oh, I think that's another cable. And it's a She-Hulk, Lady Liberator, uncommon, five and a fist. She-Hulk can only be blocked by two or more characters. So it's got what we used to call in Magic Evasion. It's pretty good. Two or more characters. Uh, sometimes that can be really good if you can get her out early. And you get a couple hits in before your opponent um, can get any blockers. Um, also, she's really good when you attack with others also because then your opponent's got to split apart the, um, the blockers. He usually takes two. Cable Man of Action again. This is the same combo I just pulled. When Cable is blocked, deal one damage to an opposing character. The global, of course, is pay Bolt Bolt. Deal one damage to target opposing character. That character must block if able. So I don't pull any cables in all of my previous videos. And then in this video, I pull two. <laughs> That's how it goes, I guess. Really random. Here's pack number four. Oh, I don't think I've seen this either. Boom. Juggernaut. Kurth. Five and a shield for villain. If your opponent has no villains in the field, each Juggernaut die can block one additional opposing die. Oh, that's pretty cool. But that's weird because he's not very beefy as far as his defense goes. He's a 6-3, 7-4, and 7-6 in his stats. And his a level 1, 2, and 3. Oh, and that's the that's the uncommon version too. This Kurth. Don't know if I said that. Marvel Girl, tele telekinetic, four and a bolt, X Men. When fielded, spin each opposing character down one level if able. Um, she's got a really really cool die. I really like her die, but she's three three five five six six. Her stats. She just kind of goes incrementally, but I think her die is really spiffy. This little, you can tell exactly who she is. Last pack. Whoa, look at this, two Professor X's. Awesome. Oh, there's our rare. Professor X Trainer. Sweet. I've been looking for this card. Five and a mask. X-Men. Of course he is. While Professor X is active, your sidekick gets a plus one attack and plus one defense, no matter how many Professor X die you have fielded. Global. This is the, this is the great thing about Professor X here. Pay a mask. Move up to... Move up to two psychic dice from your used pile to your prep area. It's pretty great. I think I'm going to be playing him instead of uh, recruiting a mutants, which is what I also pulled. Six in the mask. X Men. This is the common version. When fielded, search your bag for up to two psychic dice and roll them. 
And of course, his global remains the same. PM mass, move the two psychic dice from your use pile to your prep area. I like the lower cost and the and the rare version here. And I also like the fact that we are boosting up our uh, our um, sidekicks. But with uh, Professor X, what you're really looking to do is ramp. And if you've got sidekick on the field, then you're not exactly ramping, are you? Because you're uh, you're just using them for blocking, and in this case, you might attack with a 2-2. Two -two. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Hi, everybody. This is Alakai here. Uh, today, we have the starter set for the Uncanny X-Men uh, Dice Masters game. I'm going to be opening it, kind of showing you what's inside, um, and uh, talking a bit about it. Um, so, one thing to know is that I did actually already have the Avengers vs. X-Men starter set. And uh, the, kind of the reason why I'm opening this one is to kind of show everybody why you need to get this one as well. Now, you don't have to have both of them in order to play the game at all. But if you are interested in certain aspects of this starter set, of course, you need to have it. You'd open it. Uh, for the time being, we have Avengers vs. X Men and the uh, Uncanny X Men out. In the future, we're going to have uh, things like the uh, Age of Ultron and whatnot, other expansions. So uh, it's going to kind of keep going here. We have our cards. Oh, this opens up like that. Where we're gonna probably need to get some more of these starter sets in order to uh, not just kind of keep up with the meta meta game, but also to have some key aspects. Now these are the uh, cards that come with it. We have like Angel, a lot of controversy, a lot of uh, great things talked about. Uh, Angel, Cyclops, Iceman, Juggernaut, Kitty Pride. Magneto, Quicksilver, Wolverine, and then Wolverine. That's the uh, character cards. Um, so here's something to note. That each one of the character cards gets two dice. You only get two dice per uh, character card. These are all great as being, un as being uh, just uh, common. Kind of the problem with that is that you need to get sometimes three, sometimes four dice uh, in order to play these guys. Well, the problem with that is that in order to get those dice, you're either trading with others for their starter set uh, cards, or you need to be able to pull it as an uncommon in your booster packs. Well, we all know that pulling uncommons is, of course, less prevalent than common, so it takes a bit of time. So your best bet with something like this is really to start trading around. If you are interested in playing any of these starter set uh, characters, you're probably going to need to trade around to get that last three or last number four die in order to play and have your team set. Um, that's uh, number one. Something also to note about these characters is that when you're looking at your checklist that comes with the box, if you notice, it starts at number 35. The first, uh, the first quantity, 1 through 24, are those characters, or in fact those characters. They're not listed anywhere on that expansion set checklist, but that's what they are. They're right there. 25 through 30, what is it, 30, 25 through 34 are these other items, these basic action cards. Now. Before when I spoke about having to open up this starter set, I was speaking of really, if you want to play those characters, if you're interested in those, some of the most powerful uh, characters do come from the starter set, including the Beast from the last set. But in this starter set, we have the basic action cards, and there's a lot of really cool things. And there's one right there, Imprisoned. I've been reading a lot of forum posts about Imprisoned, and I'll read that to you here. Prison is a four cost, it's a basic action. This die captures any number of opposing characters with a total fielding cost of two or less. This effect lasts until canceled or you damage your opponent. So this is really a control 
slow down card really knocks your opponent uh, it slows down their momentum so it's uh, something that, that control players would play and it could really hurt uh, anybody who's playing a really fast aggro deck as long as you can get that four cost though that's, uh, that's quite a bit transfer power is kind of a mystique thing I understand possession feedback has got some um, talk on the, on the forums there deal one damage to your opponent for each of his characters that is knocked out for the rest of this turn so you're planning on doing like a uh, a Hulk uh, global action in which you're going to knock out a bunch of his or her um, uh, sidekicks and one cost or two cost guys. This could really hurt. Doubles that doubles that damage. So just maximizing that effect. We have a few others in there that we can talk about at a later time. Um, included also with the starter set are the four different colors that you're going to need to play your basic action. Um, I was listening to a podcast and they were saying something that I was actually thinking about the last time I played Uncanny was that these colors are very similar together. Um, might look different on the card, orange, purple, pink, and brown, but when you actually go and grab those dice, it is kind of hard to distinguish sometimes which one is associated with those dice, so uh, make sure you pay attention to that. Um, Really, I'm not going to spill open all those dice, but what we have here is, of course, the standard two little bags. We have a bunch of the um, the dice in there. Like I said, the characters all have two dice each. We have the different character dice. We have the basic action dice all uh, stacked up in there nice and neat. The bags, well, a lot of people have uh, problems with this. Uh, when I first started playing just a couple weeks ago, I, too, did not like these at all. These are not very much of anything, but it keeps the cost down of the whole set. So that's... Uh, that's something to think about when you're opening this thing and complaining about it. You get a fabric bag. It's going to last you pretty much forever. And uh, uh, you can always use that for these sets. And you don't have to keep paying for whiz kids to supply you with that. Um, again, some nice cards in here. I'm not sure which ones I'd be playing. I did get the Magneto Uncommon. I think that was on camera. Uh, Quicksilver seems to be something to think about. Wolverine. I did just uh, need to trade some of those away because I did... Uh, um, grab something out of AVX that I wanted to play so I had to get some more dice. Um, another thing, really small point, <clears throat> I read a lot about this in the forums as well, is that uh, the you're seeing a lot of the same characters show up between the different sets, the two sets. You need to play the dice that are on the bottom in tournament play. So in a really competitive play, from what I understand, if you're playing Wolverine from Uncanny X-Men versus Wolverine from um, Avengers vs. X-Men, you need to play these dice. You can't just mix and match it. You can do it in casual play, you do it in the store, maybe in like a rainbow thing, or I don't know, if you just hanging out with friends or whatnot. If you're gonna play competitive, comes up a lot, these dice have to match the actual dice that are in your bag. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, buying the starter is great to go and fill out some of these. You're gonna guarantee yourself the Wolverines and Angels that came in the last set as well, but you can't always just play it um, in Avengers and in Uncanny. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully it was kind of helpful. Let me know if I've made any mistakes. Uh, feel free to comment below, like, and subscribe to my new channel. Appreciate the feedback. Thank you, everybody.